Development of Diaphragm What is a diaphragm? A diaphragm is a large dome-shaped muscle, used for respiration. It is located below the lungs. It is the primary muscle used in respiration. It separates the thoracic cavity from the abdominal cavity. Components that form the diaphragm and embryo. Four components merge together to form the diaphragm. In embryo, septum transversum, dorsal mesentery or esophagus, pleuroperitoneal membranes, muscular extensions from the lateral body walls. Component 1, septum transversum, origin. It develops from the ventrilateral walls of body of embryo. It develops in dorsal direction and separates the heart from the liver. It acts like a semicircular shelf, separating these two organs during development. This is important to note that, the septum only separates the two organs from each other. It doesn't separate thoracic cavity from abdominal cavity. Therefore, during fourth week, when the head of embryo grows ventrally, the septum forms a thick partition of connective tissue, between pericardial and peritoneal cavities. This partition is incomplete, and a connection continues between both cavities. This connection is called, pericardioperitoneal canals. These canals are formed on both sides of dorsal mesentery of esophagus. During development, this septum will fuse with the dorsal mesentery of esophagus and pleuroperitoneal membranes. Component 2. Dorsal mesentery of esophagus. This mesentery will form the median portion of the diaphragm. It will fuse anteriorly with septum transversum, and laterally with pleuroperitoneal membranes. What are crora of diaphragm? In the future development, myoblasts will grow in this mesentery. These myoblasts will divide into two bundles of muscles, passing in the median plane of diaphragm, anterior to the aorta. These are called crora of diaphragm. Component 3 pleuroperitoneal membranes. Origin, these membranes are formed from pleuroperitoneal folds of embryo. As these folds become membranous, then these are called, pleuroperitoneal membranes. These membranes fuse medially with dorsal mesentery of esophagus, and anteromedially with septum transversum to form the diaphragm. Component 4, muscles, in growing from the lateral walls of body. The lungs and pleural cavities start lodging into lateral body walls of embryo, between 9th to 12th weeks. This lodging separates the lateral walls into two layers, external layer, becoming part of wall of abdominal cavity, internal layer, becoming peripheral part of diaphragm. To summarize, diaphragm is formed by merging of, four components, septum transversum, anteriorly, later, it becomes the central tendon of diaphragm. Dorsal mesentery of esophagus later forms crora of diaphragm. Pleuroperitoneal membranes muscular and growths from lateral body walls.